In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice working with angle bisectors. In example A, it says, is Y on the angle bisector of X, W, Z, or angle X, W, Z. So here's Y, and what I notice in this picture is two things. First of all, X, Y, and Y, Z are both six. So that means those two line segments are congruent. I also know that there are two right angles here. And what that means is that Y is actually equidistant from the two sides of the angle. Because the distance from Y to each side of the angle is the same. And because Y is equidistant from both sides of the angle, it means it must be on the angle bisector of the angle. So therefore, to answer the question, yes, Y is on the angle bisector of angle X, W, Z. Let's go to example B. If J, E, and G are midpoints and K, A equals A, D equals A, H, what are points A and B called? So if J, E, and G are midpoints, and you notice that coming out of them are perpendicular lines. That means that those blue lines are all perpendicular bisectors of the segments. So those are all perpendicular bisectors, which means that point B is the circumcenter of the triangle. So B is the circumcenter because it's the point where all three perpendicular bisectors intersect. Now let's look at K, D, and H, and the point they intersect in sort of is A. So A looks to be equidistant from all three sides of the triangle. And I know that because in the problem it says K, A equals A, D equals A, H. So that means all three of these segments are the same length. Because they're all the same length, it means that point A must be the in-center of the triangle because the in-center is the point that's equidistant from all three sides of the triangle. Remember also, if we were to draw in a circle, the in-center is the center of the circle that passes through each side of the triangle exactly once. All right, finally, let's look at example C. AB is the angle bisector of angle CAD. Solve for the missing variable. So because AB is the angle bisector, it means that point B must be equidistant from AD and from AC. So that means that these two line segments have to be the same length. So x plus 7 has to equal 2 times 3x minus 4. So we can set up the equation and solve for x. The first thing to do is to distribute the 2. And you get 6x minus 8. Keep going by adding 8 to both sides. And you get x plus 15 equals 6x minus x, and you have 15 equals 5x. So now I can see that our answer is x equals 3.